Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Princess Diana News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. In this exploration, we fearlessly immerse ourselves in the complex realm of royal conflicts, and trust me when I say, it's quite chaotic. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, known for their captivating presence, have once again caught everyone's attention. Their latest endeavor goes beyond simply relinquishing royal responsibilities, it involves a revenge scheme so dark and intricate that it surpasses even the complexity of a thrilling Netflix movie. King Charles, prepare yourself, for your Christmas invitation may require profound re-evaluation following this revelation. However, before delving into additional information, would like to express my sincere gratitude to everyone for their immense affection and assistance. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, why are you all still holding back? Go ahead and subscribe now, and remember to also activate the notification bell. Great, let's begin. There has been speculation surrounding an alleged private discussion between Prince Harry and his father, King Charles, during the King's 75th birthday. This seemingly heartwarming conversation within a family quickly took a surprising turn when the confidential details mysteriously made their way into the media in a flash. The BBC appears to have accurately anticipated Harry's phone conversation with his father even before it occurred. To everyone's surprise, the Daily Telegraph somehow obtained the private information about this meeting between the father and son. Now, forgive my skepticism, but there's definitely something suspicious going on here. Meet Richard Eden, the insightful royal commentator from the Daily Mail. He fearlessly poses thought-provoking queries, how did the BBC acquire the exclusive information even before the call occurred? Moreover, how did the Daily Telegraph swiftly unveil details of a private conversation in a manner quicker than mentioning the word royal? Family drama It seemed like the royal parchment was barely dry when the conversation came to a close. However, it is important not to become too focused on the specifics because the most important aspect is the broader perspective. The renowned power couple, Harry and Meghan, have consistently demonstrated their inclination towards sharing intimate aspects of their lives with the public. From their highly anticipated conversation with Oprah Winfrey, to their captivating documentary series on Netflix called Harry and Meghan, to Harry's forthcoming revealing memoir. Memoir, it appears that every aspect is thoroughly examined and explored, leaving nothing untouched when it comes to the royal legacy. Despite Buckingham Palace's reputation for secrecy, the details of King Charles's private birthday celebration have recently emerged, revealing that Prince Harry intends to call his father. The palace gates remain closed, but insiders have divulged this information like clockwork. It's as though there is a secret informant within the palace grounds. Perhaps the Sussex camp has a remarkably accurate foresight tool at their disposal. Now, let's delve into the subject of trust. The alleged disclosure of this private conversation has further heightened the royal family's doubts. According to rumors circulating within Buckingham Palace, it appears that Harry and Meghan's presence at family gatherings is increasingly unwelcome. It resembles a live soap opera where the storyline continues to intensify. Richard Eden is blunt in his assertion that the doors to family gatherings are closing rapidly, much like the gates at Buckingham Palace during a state visit, despite the potential reconciliation between King Charles and Harry. The divide between the Sussexes and the royals is not just a minor fissure, but a deep gorge, with no visible means of reconciliation. However, the surprising revelation is that insiders from Express have shared. Company The United Kingdom asserts that the alleged call could potentially be entirely fabricated. The king, in his overcrowded schedule, seemed unable to find the time for a sincere conversation with his son. One possible interpretation could be that Harry's recent communication with his father is possibly a calculated move by the Sussex team to address the repercussions of not being invited to the king's 75th birthday celebration. Ladies and gentlemen, Fasten your seatbelts as the excitement is set to continue. Is there a possibility that King Charles will change his mind about the Christmas invitation? Can we expect a chance of resolution between the Sussexes and the Royals? 
Or are we in for a uniquely entertaining Christmas event that surpasses the excitement of home alone? Similar to a peaceful and harmonious gathering of loved ones. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.